What's going on? It feels like a couple of minutes since we've last been here on YouTube, but I have been, yes, beep beep, I've been working on a project that is going to be really, really cool for you guys. It's called Dreamstream. It's my new royalty-free streaming catalog of music. It's going to cover many genres, but the main thing is it's going to be completely DMCA-free, so you can use it on YouTube, you can shred over it and go nuts and post Instagram posts. Use it however you like, it's going to be free to use. You can pre-sign up at getdreamstream.com and you'll be the first to know once it goes live. Today we are going to continue on the episodes through the guitar collection. Last time we did um, headless guitars, right? I'm sure that was the last video. Um, and I have some keysels with, you guessed it, headstocks. Uh, so I thought we'd go through those guitars today. And uh, three really cool guitars and I think you're going to dig them. So let's start right at the top with this beautiful very original colour scheme, Delos. <laughs> Uh, it's such a fun guitar to play this one. This is the guitar that when I do play, I'm like, damn, I wish I was playing that guitar or I should be playing that guitar more often. It's super fun. I guess the reason why I don't pick this guitar up quite as often as the others is it's one of the few guitars that I have set up with gauge tens. And although it feels great to play these strings, muscle memory and stuff, I'm just really in tune with gauge nines. Baby lightweight hands. All right, so starting with the stuff that I'm not so certain on. I think this is an Ash body because most of my Kiesel guitars, I just say, hey, I like the sound of Ash, can we just use that as the basses? But sometimes they, they change it up a little bit. So I wouldn't be surprised if this was like Alder or something else other than Ash. It's not too light, it's not too heavy. Some would say it's perfect. Uh, but yeah, well balanced. So <laughs> color combination, obviously a couple of years back, everybody went nuts for the black and gold theme. It was everywhere. Um, you saw Matthias, Tim Henson all had models very much in this kind of this realm and I think it's a really classy nice look and I don't really have a guitar that looked like that so I was like hey if Kiesel are gonna send a Delos let's go for that look I think it really really works the neck is roasted I always go for the thin profile um, so if you can see that hopefully you can I love the thin profile on the Kiesel necks uh, you can see in the back of this neck so it's got a little bit of flame run through. It's quite, quite nice. This guitar is using the Kiesel hip shot trim. Plenty of flutter on there. Super easy to restring. I can literally restring this guitar in like two minutes flat. Strings right through the back. It's got locking tuners at the top, which is really, really quick and convenient. Hopefully you can see that here. Um, so yeah, that, that really helps. It actually means it's very good for tuning stability as well. I can go crazy on this trend and um, it really does hold its tuning very, very well. So it's a roasted maple neck and I love the feel of that. It's always just really, really nice to play. <laughs> smooth for the slides and stuff. Um, it's using gold Evo frets. Um, I've never really had any gold Evo frets before. Um, I do like stainless steel and these feel very much like stainless steel in terms of how it feels to bend on them. It's nice and smooth. I know some people prefer nickel, some people prefer stainless steel, but once I tried stainless steel, I was like, yeah, that, that's definitely my thing. I like how they sound. I love how smooth they are to bend and the fact that they won't wear down and all that other stuff. I think it's just, there's a lot of benefits. So I really like stainless steel and uh, these gold Evo frets, they, they definitely have that feel. <laughs> Now these pickups, um, these are the HSS Fishman pickups. So Fishman Fluence, I'm using the classic in the bridge here and the two single coils uh, from Fishman as well. What's really, really cool about this is obviously it's got a five-way Fender Super Switch, which I always try and put on any guitar that has Fishman Fluence. I just, I can't deal with three-way switches. I'm like, I need my splits at hand at all times. Um, so this guitar has a five-way super switch, but when we're on the bridge pickup, this guy, we can actually turn this humbucker into a single coil. 
And I find that's really unique because I don't really have many guitars that are three single coils. So the fact that we can go from like humbucker and I pull this up and it basically turns that into a single, single coil. That's just really, really cool. You get that sort of extra sort of spank and twanginess. Pop that back down, we're back to the normal humbucker. <laughs> Now we can also push pull that tone, which gives us a different profile on that humbucker. 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 So if I want a little bit more of a hotter sound, I can pull that and it gives me a little bit more output. I think by default it's the other way around. It's pull to have a lower, more passive sounding pickup. Um, but when my tech installs the pickups, I always like it reversed. So down is like the lower output sound pull up if you want hotter and uh, I don't really use the the sort of hotter sound so much. In fact let's let's put a really heavy gain sound on and let's just listen for the difference so we'll start off with the low output. Uh, by the way all of the amps that I'm using today are my Neural DSP and if you want to see the full signal chain with all of the settings and all the you know from the cable right through to the plugins and amp and all that stuff check that out I'll leave that in the link in the description below. So this is Granisphere with a precision drive in front of it. And let's just have a quick try of the two different types of sounds from the humbucker. And technically you can do three because we can split it and do those different profiles as well. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Let's pull that up and see how it sounds with a higher output. Oh, yeah, you hear that? And if you want that single coil sound, we can pull that up and we are... One other really fun thing that I like about this guitar, it's got the Fishman USB battery pack in there. So you plug a USB into there and you basically charge it. And for me, it generally has enough juice in it that gets me about three months of use. So it's quite a long time. And you get like this little uh, light to tell you when it's getting low. Plug the USB into it and it's good to go. So this is the Kiesel Delos. Um, let's go through a couple more sounds with it. And uh, then we'll move on to the next guitar that I, that I wanna show you today. getting a little bit dark and moody.
this hyperdrive is definitely the ultimate Saturday night shred guitar. You know, burger, you've had your pizza, couple of gallons of Diet Coke, you're just ready to shred, get out of your mind. This is the guitar to do it, 100%. And when I'm streaming with this guitar, it's, it is actually the guitar that actually encourages me uh, to be a little bit more silly, to go crazy with the trem, to bring out the old school 80s licks. Uh, but it's really, really cool. It's actually well balanced. Right in there, there's this counterweight, and that really, really helps because a lot of guitars like this, they kind of suffer from neck dive. And especially when you're standing up, it's like, ah, nothing worse than like trying to go for some shred licks and the guitar is trying to, to get down. It's trying to run away from you. Although I would say personally, I prefer bolt-ons. The access up top when you're shredding really, really high, it's pretty crazy. You can literally play the pickups on this thing. Uh, Hopefully you can get an idea. Uh, so whilst we have it turned around, um, you know, obviously the color, very, very hot pink. It's the hottest pink you can go for. Um, but in this gloss finish, it really, really pops and it really works for this type of guitar. We have maple with a couple of purple heart stripes in it. And um, that feels really, really nice. It's not a roasted neck. I think this guitar is too big to stick in the Kiesel oven. But having said that, it's very, very smooth to play. Uh, maybe that's tongue oiled. It just feels super slick really really quick and those stripes go right through to the headstock hopefully you can see that too and um again got the lock and tuners so restrings on this guitar is an absolute breeze you can see i have the same usb charger and that means every three months or so plug it in and uh get some charge and you're good to go maple purple heart with an ebony board and I feel that is a great combination and that ebony board just feels really really tight very precise stainless steel fret so when you're bending <laughs> This is just that ultimate guitar. Really, really fun guitar to play. I love it. Um, so pickups, obviously they are a different color to normal Fishman uh, Fluence. Uh, these are my custom pickup series from Fishman. Uh, we are working very hard um, to make them available to everybody. And I'm thinking of different ways that we can do that. And as is uh, Fishman as well. These pickups are a blend of some of my favorite Fishman Fluence pickups all roll into the one pickup with a uh, with a purple finish. Um, I think that would really look cool on some other guitars that we are working on, eh, working on. Make a note, never wink at the camera again. See, I think the hyperdrive is really, really comfortable to play. When you're sitting down with it, it's actually got a really nice uh, sort of angle that you can move it to. And this horn piece actually acts as a, a nice sort of armrest. So when you're playing, I did say this guitar encourages you to be extra silly. It's actually very, very light. Uh, considering the, the sort of mass of this guitar, um, this is lighter than my Delos, like noticeably lighter. Let's try some split sounds. <laughs>
So there we go, this is my hyperdrive, the wild Saturday night crazy guitar. Um, but I, I really dig this one. Um, it's one of those guitars that you see it and it looks cool, but you think, oh, I'm not sure how that's gonna play, but it actually plays great. Speaking of making things play great, if you haven't checked out my online guitar website, schoolofmcrock.com, then check it out. Every week I upload a brand new lesson. We've got lessons covering everything from sweeping, tapping, alternate picking, hybrid picking, riffs, theory, that's not mind boggling, practical theory, and so much more. So that is schoolofmcrock.com. I'll leave the link for that in the description. Every week I upload a brand new lesson based on the members feedback. Now speaking of the members feedback, don't forget you can also join the Discord, which is totally free, and that will be linked down below. Come hang with us, we've got an awesome guitar community that's came together. We've been discussing everything from very unhealthy but very tasty food, right through to music theory, to your favorite movies, and so much more. So Discord is down below, or you can go to mcrockland.com forward slash Discord, and that will take you right there too. Let's move on to the final guitar that I'm gonna show you today my DC 600. <laughs> This DC 600 is another shred machine for sure. But if you want to see something that's a little bit different, maybe it's my BC Rich, the Tony McAlpine model, Steve Stevens Hamer. Now that lockdown in the UK is starting to lift a bit, I could get those guitars to my guitar tech because they do need restored. What about other guitars like my Gibson Les Paul Custom Thin, uh, Steve Rivon Strat, all that stuff. Let me know if you want to see that stuff. Drop a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on those guitars. Let's get to this guitar though. This is the DC 600. Pat, I'm sitting here, I'm like checking all the weights. I'm thinking, which is heavier, which is lighter? Um, I kind of like lighter guitars, you know, if I'm standing up, I'm streaming on Twitch and stuff. You know, if you're standing up and you're getting hyped for like two hours plus, light guitars make all the difference. So this guitar is actually a swamp ash body with a really, really cool flame maple top over the top. Let's see if we can get that a little bit closer to this camera. And hopefully you guys can catch some of that uh, flame maple that's going down. It's such a really nice piece of flame maple that I do kind of wish that I went for like a gloss finish just to really show that flame off because when you catch this uh, guitar in the right light, uh, it looks absolutely awesome. So it's an ash body with a flame maple top and with this guitar, I'm sticking with that same Kiesel hip shot trim. The reason I haven't went for Floyd's in any of my Kiesel, Kiesel builds is a lot of the time when I play Floyd Rose, um, when I'm playing, I kind of bash into that trem and I get a lot of wrist pain down here just from literally sort of hitting it so often. Um, I'm changing angles, I'm going back and forward. So I, f I feel with, with traditional Floyds and the Ibanez equivalent, um, I get a lot of sort of wrist denting and bashing just because I'm hitting the thing so often. Um, so when I was playing Ibanez, I would much prefer the, the low profile style bridges to the traditional um, edge ones, you know? Um, so with this guitar, I tried something a little bit different uh, with the frets. Um, although all my Kiesels are a 20 inch radius, so radius or a very flat neck, with this one, I went with medium jumbos. The two previous guitars have been jumbo frets. Um, and I always just, you know, stick with jumbos. They feel great. It's kind of what I grew up playing with Ibanez. So it's like the closest thing to those. Um, but with this one, I went with medium jumbo just to see what the spacing was like. Overall, don't mind it, I don't love it. Um, if I Again, if I had the choice over, I'll probably just stick with traditional jumbo, but it's a pretty uh, small difference, and some people do prefer that. I like to have that kind of consistency. All my main guitars, 24 frets, 20 inch radius, thin profile, stainless steel. That's like the bread and butter, you know? So I kind of don't like to deviate away from that. If I was, maybe I'd get like a 21 fret, get a different radius, something that's much more curved. But for like my main guitars that I use for everything, I tend to stick stick with the same spec and just change cosmetics. And that way, I know how it's gonna sound, I know how it's gonna feel, you know, apart from the body size and stuff like that. It's gonna be in the right ballpark to what I'm used to. One other thing about this guitar, 
I really, really love the back of this combination. This is a, um, a walnut neck, I believe, with mahogany stripes going through it. It's very, very comfortable to play. It's just got that nice texture. Feels good in the hand. It's like smooth, but it's not kind of overly slippy. You know, when something is like too fast, that is a thing because when you're sliding around, you need that little bit of sort of that resistance almost against your hand, just that slight resistance to stop you over sliding and stuff. Um, this feels really, really good. So again, it's got an ebony fretboard, which I really, really like as well. And I also like the 3x3 on this guitar. It makes it feel a little bit shorter, uh, which is really, really cool. This guitar actually shipped with um, polarities, I believe, which were actually really, really good sounding pickups. Uh, Kiesel do make great sounding pickups. They're passive pickups that I have on some of my other guitars, like a Type X and Leia. Really, really great sound and pickup. Obviously, I love Fishman Fluence. I use them in all my main guitars and any guitars that has the space to put the battery to power the Fluence pickups, then I tend to go for those, uh, those pickups rather um, as my default. Um, so I did get to change this guitar over to Fishman Fluence and it is just using uh, a regular battery uh, for this set. So right in there, use an Energizer. Wow, I haven't changed this one in a while now. Down is slightly higher output, more like an active type of sound. Pulled up is less output, more like a traditional pass passive pickup. <laughs> So I might get that reversed next time I get to see my guitar tech because I normally have it the other way around because I like the slightly brighter output with lower output. Uh, you can tell when it's down like this. Slightly broader mid, pull it up. A little bit of a brighter tone. So I prefer up, which is the passive sound in the, the Fisherman Fluence. And I guess that's a bonus with Fisherman Fluence, the fact that you can have those different profiles. It's literally like having a second set of pickups in your guitar. Now, speaking of other things on your guitar, what is this? Well, this is called a Fisherman Triple Play. Uh, it's totally wireless. So when I turn this on, I do things like this. turn it off when you're done with it and it just goes straight into your door wirelessly um, onto a separate MIDI track, drop all your favorite plugins in and uh, you're good to go. So the triple play is what I use when I want some synth lines or pads and stuff in the background of music. 
makes it so much easier than trying to work it all out note for note on a keyboard. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, don't forget to give this video a like so other people might get to check it out as well. And no doubt I've forgot an absolute ton of stuff, so my apologies in advance. And if there's anything that you specifically want to know about any of the guitars that I've shown today, let me know in the comments. But for now, you guys take it easy, and I'll see you on the next video. Yeah.